Hello and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? I'm gonna do another whip and chat today. It's like at my camera fixed here. Okay, there we go. Are we set up? Yeah, it's gonna wander again, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> okay, I think we have it. Alright, so we're working on uh Diamond Art Club's I Am by Ravine Phelan. It's this dragon. Yeah, we're right around here. Alright, it's around 20 by 28 inches, 51 by 71 centimeters, uh, 29 colors, and two ABs, which is Aurora Borealis, 129 and 137 are the two ABs. And that's any uh, drill color under 150. It's just a fancier type of a uh, drill. Just a little bit sparklier. It has a special coating on it. Just uh, allows it to glisten a little bit more. And it adds a few details uh, to the canvas that they're in. All right, so how's everybody doing? Uh, it's my weekend off, so from work so I hang out for a bit we do a couple of these whipping chats today uh, we'll see how it goes jeez here okay 917 all right we're working on the number sign here there's a pound sign 917 oh yeah there's a whole ton all right, I'm gonna pour some more uh, number sign here. Oh yeah, there's tones. All right, here we go. Get a few more. All right. All right, how are we doing? Yeah, I can never seem to win with this uh, camera stand, but it's what I have right now. <laughs> All good. Oh, make do. Okay. Number sign, number sign. Minus. Okay. I think it's just here. Yeah, I just had lunch and all that, so. Yeah, I finished another word search book, so recycled that, so I'm going to have to get another one for the dining room table to do. Yeah, it's the only way I can go through hundreds of these word search books. It's doing one right after the other. Oh, well, that's what you get when you... Get a subscription from Kappa Puzzles or Penny Press. They give you your order. And they're American based company. So companies, I believe. So yeah. Uh not sponsored by them at all. <laughs> Penny Press or Kappa Puzzles, but they're two really good uh, puzzle book companies. They do Sudoku and all that too. They do a few different puzzle books. But yeah, I get the word search books, so I like working in those. Yeah, it's been a pretty low key day so far. It's a nice sunny day really outside and there are sirens going off again. <laughs> Some emergency vehicle going somewhere? Oh boy. We get emergency, the orange emergency helicopters flying above us on our way to like London or whatever. It just flies its, its flight path usually. It's taking people to London Hospital or something. Half the time. 
And lo and behold, my parents have an app to follow aircraft flights. It's <laughs> some sort of flight radar thing. So, uh, time they hear an orange helicopter or hear a plane or something, they get their phones out and they're uh, on there seeing what it's doing. <laughs> it's like, yeah, just think of like a police scanner, like that hears APBs or whatever radio exchange between police officers and emergency services or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's like an ambulance one too. I don't know. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's people watching, but, uh, with emergency services. <laughs> it's like, okay then. It's a radio frequency, so I guess it's basically like listening to a radio station. You just download a certain app and yeah, <laughs> just like that you're listening to various emergency calls and stuff. What fun. Mm. It's entertaining for a few minutes, but then it's like, yeah. <laughs> go do something else now. <laughs> uh, friend of mine, I, friend of mine and I listened to it a while ago. Just sat there and hung out. <laughs> listened to like emergency go. Or conversations between police officers and dispatchers or whatever. It's just, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> no, it's pretty amazing to see what travels and happens within a day, just like one aspect. Just like air travel or... Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a, some sort of train app that followed train travel too. I wouldn't shock me. <laughs> but, you know. Nah, it's just one of those regular Fridays. <laughs> Got up, watched, watched more Mysteries of the Abandoned. Just like repeats of that on Cottage Life Channel or something. It's like, has remotely nothing to do with like Cottage Life. It's uh, just, it's based on the magazine. Like it's a channel based on Cottage Life magazine. That's still in print. <laughs> And, yeah, it's like one ad every once in a while. Hey, hey Cottage Life uh, magazine is on newsstands now. Go get your copy. It's like, no thanks. <laughs> I'll be okay. <laughs> I really don't think it would be uh, too highly exciting just looking through an issue of those magazines these days. They're mostly just... Uh, of ads like advertising just to keep it in print and there's like probably like one or two articles based on whatever the theme of the magazine is yeah it, it's mostly a book of ads that you pay a you could pay a subscription fee for <laughs> Yeah, we're struggling to sell copies so we could add sponsorship. It's, it's like... That's probably like a whole bunch of medication <laughs> ads or something. It's usually a couple pages. Have people smiling on the front page and then on 
the opposite side, it's all the side effects and <laughs> could possibly kill you. <laughs> Yay, Cottage Life magazine. <laughs> or every other magazine. I'm sure National Geographic is a little better, but I remember getting that years ago. Or having a subscription to it years ago, and you got maps and stuff. And it's a pretty comprehensive magazine. It's still going, I believe, but I'm not sure how the quality is still at this point. I don't know, there's a National Geographic channel to Nat Geo or something. Yeah, we watch that sometimes, I think. Yeah, we get BBC Earth. Yeah, watch nature documentaries, just... Usually early in the morning, and then we switch to the Toronto News, like CP24. And get the news flip for a couple hours. <laughs> Then my mom's usually watching something she PVR'd before, and yeah. I don't know. I think she's just crocheting and watching something else off the PVR to just making shawls or something. Scarves or whatever. I don't know, I'm just out here in the studio. <laughs> I have the opportunity to do so, so. Here we are. Oh, Mr. Crow is here again. I don't know what happened to Mr. Fly that was with me. Yeah. Previous whip and chat. Just hanging out on my arm. I don't, I don't mind flies hanging out on my arm. It's like they get in the house somehow. It's probably like the front door being open, or here's just they squish their way in through cracks in the house or something. I don't know. Oh, heck, there's probably still like a fly hanging out of my car for a couple days there uh, still alive somehow so no it probably gets really hot in there because it just sits in the driveway and the sun shines like right in to my car by all means yeah, sorry, just moving the camera a bit here. Yeah, I got some uh, number symbol over here. And of course we have glare. Here, I'll just do that. Here, I'll just move this over. I have room, all good. All right, here we are. Okay, yeah, so the dragon's wings are kind of, there's a strip of purple here. Yeah, as you get further up, it turns, yeah, they become translucent, and yes, see night sky up here in the next session. But I'm going from left to right, so I'm going to do the dragon's body, like the neck, and more of the body in the next section. <laughs> but for now, da. Fingers uh, picking up drills. <laughs> Oh yeah, all good. Just hanging out. Nothing too exciting really. <laughs> As usual. Keep it pretty simple around here. Nothing too exciting. I already uh, seen some of Saturday's Diamond Art Club releases. I know they're selling on michaels.com now or something. They're putting their 
new releases on Michael's website <laughs> or something. And I guess the Diamond Art Club website as well. But oh, I'm just like suddenly seeing Michael's. And it's like, okay, I guess. Yeah, there's a landscape. It's not a Chuck Pinson, but somebody else. But uh, there's a fire breathing dragon. Uh, butterflies. There's a couple of different artists that I guess just emerged on the scene. Yeah, some pretty good canvases. Yeah, Diamond Art Club has a couple of new ones too. Or I've seen at least one. Oh. <laughs> shaking my drafting table, shaking the tray. Oh, it, they look nice. Yeah, there was a Katana one from Diamond Art Club recently. I don't know if it's a partial or not, but. Oh, there's Chinese or Japanese symbols. I think it's Japanese and it means sword. I don't know, it's a smaller kind of canvas. <laughs> I don't know, different stuff, different uh, art styles, pretty interesting. There's a couple that caught my eye, but yeah, I don't really get too... <laughs> I get really too attached <laughs> when they first come out. Yeah, after a while, I'd consider, but... Yeah, just, I've never really gone totally crazy about a Saturday. <laughs> but Saturday releases. It's like, yeah, there's going to be people who are all over that stuff. Oh, it's all good. You want a canvas, you want a canvas, so yeah, give her. I don't know, I restock eventually. <laughs> Usually a canvas is after the popular popularity has uh, wound down. Some of them are hard to get for a while. Yeah, I'm sure Train of Dreams by Randall Spangler is still hard to get. There it goes out of stock a lot, or pretty quick. That's a beast, that one. So many books, so little time is a beast as well. But I have that one, so we're good. <laughs> That's one I really wanted for a while there. Just the color blending is incredible. It, I've seen it being diamond painted in whip and chats. So. Oh, someday. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta do a couple other different canvases. <laughs> this is kind of fantasy. Yeah, I'm still trying to think of which treasures to do as arts canvas I want to do after this one. I think I have an idea, but yeah, I'm not just want to be stuck on Dharma and Art Club all the time. Yeah, to do other diamond painting companies, do canvases. I'll do a Dreamers Designs one eventually, maybe, and yeah, I'm just uh, gong ho for Diamond Art Club, <laughs> even though that's the vast majority of my stash of canvases. All good. Yeah, you know, won't see just exclusively Diamond Art Club, but just kind of 
yeah. <laughs> After a while, that would probably get tedious. Uh, just doing Diamond Art Club canvas again. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I'll try to get a little more variety into the mix. Yeah, I don't want to be doing like landscape canvases all the time. They keep me busy, but yeah, really good uh, whip and jet canvas, but yeah. <laughs> I think just working on a canvas and uh, just hanging out for hour stints for whipping chats is uh, something I like doing. <laughs> it's pretty down to earth and yeah, just helps other people to diamond paint as well. Yeah. I'm diamond painting and then somebody else is watching and diamond painting. I think that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> yeah, it's a guaranteed hour to just relax and uh, just uh, get some drills on here on adhesive. And get further through this canvas. Oh my gosh, can you imagine channels that do mukbang, where they just like eat in front of the camera? And it's usually like a lot of food, if I'm not mistaken. And you hear all the chewing sounds and all that. <laughs> uh, I've only heard of mukbang, but probably not my cup of tea. And the chewing sounds would just, <laughs> it's kind of like ASMR, but I don't know, hearing chewing sounds and, I don't know, it's just, yeah, <laughs> I think I could handle it. <laughs> I'll s stick with ASMR or uh, other whipping chats to, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know, mukbang can be pretty cool. Just get a lot of food when they're just hanging out and, yeah, if other people are, or just feel lonely or whatever. I don't know. You can eat with somebody. I don't know if they're usually live broadcasted. Like, you just see them eating what they're eating for that amount of time. Just like face to face kind of feel. I don't know if they're live three quarters of the time, but. Yeah, mukbang is just eating a lot of food and just like all the chewing. And it's being recorded, like, kind of like this whip and chat here. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's just large amounts of food or just thoroughly enjoying food and eating it with other people or in front of other people. It can be like ramen noodles at somewhere in Japan or something at originated from there and then it came over here because I guess people just like that kind of stuff or just like having company just having somebody to eat with or boredom or <laughs> I don't know it's it's an activity I guess <laughs> oh <laughs> And it's a time where it's not improper to be eating in front of a camera, eating food while recording yourself or going live. Yeah, pretty popular uh, niche here on YouTube. M-U-K-B-A-N-G, I think that's how you spell it, all one word. 
Uh, there's TikTok dances. Yeah, and clips on TikTok are a couple minutes long or something. So, yeah, dances and then just certain music track and then everybody does their version of it. <laughs> That's popular for a bit, then somebody makes a new dance and I think that's a, just a, I guess they call it trend. Yeah, that cinnamon challenge was somewhere. Uh, might have been Vine or something. Oh, that's gone. Oh, the fly is still here. It's just hiding somewhere. The fly came back, hurry. It's hanging out. <laughs> I was telling <laughs> my mom that a, a fly was hanging out with me while I was filming or recording weapon chats and she's like uh there's fly papers in the house somewhere you can like hang them up kill them <laughs> kill the flies <laughs> that fly to do, do to you? It's like, jeez. Hair got part of the adhesive. Yikes, kind of pulled. <laughs> wow, felt that. Okay then. Mm. Wow. I didn't expect to see so much purple, but yeah. Yeah, that's basically the brunt of the purple in this picture the uh, wing basically that's where all the purple is oh yeah. it serves its purpose for sure oh it's gonna be an awesome canvas here regardless it's done so oh somebody asked me if I was gonna like frame or hang this up huh? don't know yet <laughs> I know, I do have that display board behind me that I showed a, couple, a few whipping chats ago. But... I don't know about like framing every single one of these diamond paintings, like I just like do them most of the time. Just, just for the novelty of it, but... Yeah, there is wall space around the house, but... Yeah, <laughs> it's not exactly like my wall space to use per se. I have this pegboard, like that's about it, <laughs> that I can use, but yeah. Alright, now I'm just cleaning this tray off here. Let's color it here. There we go. Ah, stole one. <laughs> Mom thinks I should just like do these and like sell them. <laughs> it's like, really? I don't know. <laughs> I really like some of these. Like, I really want to, then I'd have to make one for myself, even though I like just finished it. Yeah, I don't think I'd really do the same canvas more than once. <laughs> I'd be really, especially now that I'm doing these whip and jet, that'd be really, yeah, I'd do one canvas at a time, that'd be really tedious. Did you already do this canvas? Yeah, I'm just doing it again. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> what are you doing? Mm. Oh, I think there was a, like, a diamond painter that, uh, had, I think it was like a Josephine Wall, two versions of a Josephine Wall, uh, canvas that were released with two different, uh, diamond painting companies, and I think they were comparing the two, so they bought 
each version of the canvas, and I think they're uh, diamond painting both to compare. One has less colors. I think the Diamond Art Club has less colors, and uh, it might be diamond painting Deutschland, but that was a while ago. I haven't heard too much about that. Uh, I forget which uh, Josephine Wall. I, I'm pretty sure it was the Josephine Wall canvases. Like the same canvas, but like two different. Diamond Air Club and Diamond Painting Deutschland, I guess. Is where I got, where I purchased my Josephine Wall. And it's a little pricier, but... Yeah, I bought Luna for Josephine Wall because I kept seeing unboxings or untubings of these Josephine Wall paintings or canvases. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to try this. Okay. Uh, 321. All right. Uh, dark red. There we go. That's capital Y. Almost for a bit. Oops. There you go. Yeah, it's dark red, 321. Very nice, very nice. Okay, yeah, I'll just flip some of these over. Ah, oh, yes, the gentle shaking of diamond painting drills. Whispering sweet nothings into the phone for ASMR. Now we're gonna work on a red. Sexy drills. <laughs> it's like, there we go. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> It'd have to be like a soundproof room and really nice microphone. And me not talking at all. Or just whispering <laughs> for ASMR. Oh, I'm sure there's a channel out there that does ASMR or diamond painting. Uh, yeah, that'd be really, <laughs> that'd feel really awkward. Yeah, if you really dislike that cellophane, like, that's usually the drills come in. Many kids. <laughs> They'd be doing a, I'd be crinkling a lot of that by the microphone or whatever. If I was doing ASMR, audio sensory meridian response or something, I think is. Yeah, it's just like that tingly feeling. Uh, when you're really focused on something. something, you just get that like really calming, tingling feeling throughout your body. You're just enthralled by what somebody's doing or you're really focused and it's just like super relaxing yeah that's asmr uh, i don't know if it's like a familiar term but it is around yeah it's just basically using your senses like hearing no nah, it could be smell too Hearing, seeing, tasting, I guess, and but with in like YouTube videos, you can't obviously taste or smell. Yeah, just using your senses and just to relax, help you relax. Watching somebody do something. Yeah, I've watched a, at least one ASMR video where. There's somebody sitting in like a really fancy sports car kind of thing and just kind of showing it. But uh, tapping their fingers on the dashboard or the steering wheel and yeah, it, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's showing the car but not blatantly showing the car. It's just massaging components and tapping fingers on the dashboard making noises putting your hands over the fabric of the seats or the steering wheel and microphones picking up all the subtle sounds the rubbing and the tapping 
Yeah. If you like have headphones on and you're just watching the video, like you're engaged, fully engaged with it, then it might work. You might get that comforting, uh, soothing theme feeling which ASMR gives you. But <laughs> it sometimes works for me and sometimes doesn't. I don't know if it's like a kind of like a doctor checkup stuff near your face or by your ears where they have a microphone and they're rubbing the microphone and you hear the scuffing sounds on the microphone <laughs> or getting your hair cut and they have like scissors going they're cutting a mannequin's hair or something and they have a microphone picking up each scissor scissor cut yeah, that's ASMR. I'm sure it's in other places too. There's a few channels that just do ASMR videos every once in a while. It's really popular. It, I guess it fights insomnia and all that. Like it just is a way to relax. It's meditative, I guess. Yeah, it's accurate. Just, yeah, meditative, focused. For the people watching, but uh, I, I'm sure the person doing the movements or the ASMR stuff, yeah, it's kind of relaxing for them too. Yeah, it can be like crinkling cellophane, uh, tapping various surfaces. Yeah, I don't. Somebody's made tea or something did like a tea ceremony or something and with loose tea and they're just basically preparing tea loose leaf tea for the video and you hear the kettle boiling and yeah and it's usually a fairly quiet low spoken or no speaking kind of uh, procedure. Yeah, it's usually whispering and lip smacking. <laughs> yeah, mukbang, kind of. Yeah, there's a ton of different uh, things out there. <laughs> For sure. Okay, 321, capital O. Tons of different YouTube videos out there. And yeah, you can kind of get lost on YouTube if uh, don't know what you're specifically looking for. They just give you different recommendations based on what you've watched. <laughs> I usually get a lot of smosh kind of stuff because I watch the try not to laugh stuff. And yeah, I get other diamond painting. I get weapon chats usually. Yeah, I get a few accurate kind of uh, recommendations, but I get a lot of Family Guy kind of clips, compilation. Yeah, because I yeah really don't sit down and watch Family Guy. <laughs> I've just seen clips. Like the cutaways where Peter says something, oh, I once worked for some celebrity, and then they just do like a <laughs> 30 or 40 second cutaway from the show. It's like, still the show, but it's just some stupid visual gag or something. <laughs> for 40 seconds and you're going, and then it's right back to the show. <laughs> right back to the episode, it's like, wow. Yeah, there's a lot of that, and I don't know, Reddit or Pinterest, yeah, those are, yeah, Facebook can be, do the same thing. Instagram, yeah, I get stuck on that. Because uh, on Instagram, you can keep scrolling until it says you're up to date, 
<laughs> at the bottom of the scroll in the app anyway I don't know if the website does the same thing the Instagram website does the same thing I don't know I just have the Instagram app so yeah <laughs> I don't know it's other people's whips kind of like what I do when I post I usually just like almost every landscape or uh, work in progress post <laughs> for canvases, diamond painting canvases. Yeah, I follow a few diamond painters. Yeah, w with this kind of craft hobby, yeah, it's nice to see all your canvases, so you just follow other diamond painters and you see what canvases they're doing <laughs> their progress and stuff so yeah it's nice <laughs> okay let's move camera a bit yeah it's not really gonna stay <laughs> yeah it's got a lot of clumps of red here oh there's a nice Y right in the middle there I'll get that now there we go. Yeah, nice darker red mixing with oranges and yellows for the wings here. That would be interesting to do ASMR type stuff, but really need a quiet environment. And <laughs> There's a lot of it out there, so <laughs> it would just be like another channel, basically. But yeah, uh, for now I'll stick to diamond painting and coloring every now and then. Yeah, I haven't really been going home about the coloring because I can only do so much. It's only so many coloring books, I just can't like whip out a coloring book and just color in it. It's just, it's copyright stuff. Disclaimers on the front covers of these, half these coloring books, man. <laughs> Do not share this electronically by recording, photocopying, photographs, digitally in any way without written permission from said publisher and they give you an address that's one book that I bought off of Amazon uh, Sachin Shachdeva yeah he was alright with it so yeah. eventually I'll finish that under the sea coloring page and I just I get studio time to do diamond painting when my mom doesn't have to do anything out here, that, that I just come out here. Uh, usually I have to color in my room, but I have come out in the evenings and uh, done coloring chats out here in the studio. Yeah, I usually mention where I am in the <laughs> coloring chat. Yeah, I still do color, but it's just not, it's not as regular or fluid as a diamond painter. I have to do it at certain times. No, it's okay. Yeah, I really just don't want to get a bunch of coloring books and then show them and then get in a heap load of trouble for showing copyrighted material. That's really not my cup of tea. <laughs> copyright strafe. I really don't need to be getting copyright strafe. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna stay. Not really. I'm gonna move my stand slightly. Yeah, that's my arm. Okay. Camera's not cooperating, I'll just move the stand. The whole stand. There we go.
Aha. <laughs> yeah, it's got drills along the edge here. Yep. As long as I'm still on the... Yeah, slightly cut off, but yeah. I'm just still doing this red. And this lower corner here. Mm, kind of off view. <laughs> Oh, I'll get more into view. I'm just doing these lower Y symbols here. I'm still here. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, my camera's not. Yeah, the stand's not perfect. Just likes moving ever so slightly. I think I'm in view again, barely. <laughs> oh well, uh, diamond paint a bit off camera. That happens, I guess, on occasion. Yeah, I'll just tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> if I notice. <laughs> I don't know how many people like actually like physically watch Whip and Jet. I don't know if it's just like background or not. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's what I hear in other weapon chats. I'm probably not watching this per se, but you're probably just listening. Kind of like a podcast type situation <laughs> or an audio book. Yeah, I'm sure it's just look up every once in a while, but. Yeah, three quarters of the time or 99% of the time, I am filling, filming the canvas I'm working on this section. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, having the camera facing me and while well, diamond painting would just be a little weird. <laughs> oh, it's just talking to the camera. Oh, what is he doing? <laughs> oh, I'm diamond painting. Oh, I don't believe you. You're just talking to the camera. <laughs> it's like, eh, no. Yeah, so hence the canvas view. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense to me. <laughs> it works for me. Hmm. Diamond painting channel, so yeah. Diamond painting. There you go. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yeah, live, lives are different. There's probably, yeah. Probably a couple of camera angles, however you manage to do that. Yeah, it's interesting how people do that. They can switch, connect multiple cameras or something, and there's some sort of switch mode or... Some sort of switch function. Don't know. I'm just on smartphone and yeah, filming, <laughs> recording. Yeah, I don't. I have a laptop, but yeah, I've been a guest of a live, but I've never done a live broadcast myself. Yeah, I do have a camera on my laptop. If I was doing a live, it'd probably be like a side profile view or something. But yeah, if you're like doing a live kind of thing, you'd probably want like a regular kind of schedule. Not just willy nilly. <laughs> oh, it seems to generate an audience a lot better if uh, people know when you're going to be live. I know it can archive on YouTube but after the broadcast is done, but yeah. It's in a live kind of like uh, 
yeah, people are going to be there and watching you in real time <laughs> at the time. And if you miss it, then you have the recording to go, the archived uh, recording to go back to. I don't know, that's just... <laughs> I was given, like, somebody sent me the live schedule a bit ago. I'm not sure how accurate it would be now, but... And I could, like, sit here for two or three hours and do the same thing. But... <laughs> I could probably do what I'm doing now, like, just live somehow, and just broadcast for two or three hours that way with my smartphone. Oh, I wouldn't be able to see chat, so I'd have to have my laptop on the broadcast somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like I have a tablet or something, so... <laughs> It'd be an interesting format. There would be a lot going on. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I almost got Y all figured out here. Oh, I'm sure it's doable, but, you know. <laughs> Yay. Oh, 52 already? Wow. One hour. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. I guess we're having fun. Hurry. Works for me. And a couple of colors down anyway. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this is like a fairly easy hobby to get into, but yeah, it does take time to put all the drills in the place for like a single color. Well, unless you're multiplicing or something, but. Yeah, regardless, there can be like big sections of color, of the same color. Color blocking, in other words. Yikes. Fingers are picking up extra drills again. Yeah, a few more of this red. Almost got it. Yeah, this is coming along. Damn, two quarters of these are like flipped over. <laughs> these drills. I only have like two more drills and I have like 60 extra <laughs> in the tray. Yay, okay. There's that red. Cool. Wow, it's come along really cool. This is quite a colorful section. <laughs> I still have tons of this red, so. A lot of capital Y. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah. Tons of this red over in the other section. That's like the dragon's neck and back of the body. Main body. Whoa, that flew. How it made.
made it over there is beyond me. Okay, let's just grab that so I don't lose. There we go. <laughs> wow, that flew somehow. Okay, there we go. That was 321. Alright, where are we now? It's kind of a... Uh... Six oh six, I believe. Yep. Oh, here we are. Yeah, another red. Oh, it's a fly. I felt something weird on my arm. Flies just hanging out there. All right. Yep. So six oh six. It's another red. <laughs> If you like red or purple or yellow or orange, yeah, this canvas is for you. <laughs> if you like color, go for it. This is quite the canvas. Very beautiful. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of like dark blue up here for the night sky, so it's gonna be nice. Look at there. Yeah, it's still got a good chunk of like wing. a bit there. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of uh, night sky and uh, the dragon's head. Like this is near the top. It's like basically halfway. Or slightly over halfway now. Adam. <laughs> Just advancing through the canvas anyway. 56. Oh, we're getting there. Okay so this might be slightly off camera again. Yeah, just doing this red. It's kind of spread out. Okay. Yeah, just this part of the ring wing here, the underside. Yeah, it's just nice, quick fill in. Yeah, I'm like right here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Slowly cut off. Talent. Yep, award winning cinematography on this uh, channel. Yep, nailed it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm. I don't know how warm it is outside, but it does look like a nice day anyway. I think we have received the mail for today yet, but it is Friday, so yep. <laughs> it is a Friday, so it's the last day to get mail for the week, or last chance to get the mail. Yeah, just regular mail, like Canada Post kind of thing. But yeah, couriers can come out like anytime. <laughs> I don't know if they like take Sundays off or. No, I probably take Sundays off. Maybe. <laughs> I could be wrong. Or they have continental shifts or something. Don't know. Yeah, it's just at the edge of the view here. But yeah, you've been watching Echoes of Color with uh, Jeffrey Morrison. As always, I put my Facebook profile name. Uh, my Aquas Color Facebook business page URL and my Instagram handle, I guess, whatever it's called, Instagram tag handle, uh, down below in the description below the video. So, 
basically my Facebook business page and my Instagram are where I post progress on my uh, current whips works in progress <laughs> yeah you'll probably mostly see diamond painting I like progress on those yeah I sometimes do coloring page not as often as diamond painting so yeah and regular Facebook yeah since I post on Instagram as well uh, goes to my Facebook profile as well. Any uh, whip updates? Uh, <laughs> I basically post in like three different spots. Two being like the same app or website, but Facebook, but yeah, Instagram is the, it's a part of Facebook or a division of Facebook, but Yeah, it's a different app altogether. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, now yeah, I'll get this whip and chat up, and then I think I just might do another one. Like, yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Take care, and I'll probably see you again. See ya. <laughs>